Video number one. Welcome to the latest and very easy to apply media buying video training designed to take you by the hand and walk you through the process of getting the most out of media buying on behalf of your business. I'm so excited to have you here and I know this will be very helpful for you. This excellent and exclusive video training will take you by the hand and show you step by step, topic by topic and tool by tool what you really need to know in order to dominate media buying the easiest way possible using the most effective tools and in the shortest time ever. This is exactly what you are going to learn. In video one, you will get a detailed explanation of what will be included in the complete training so that you can have a clear vision of what to expect from it. In video number two, you will learn what media buying and banner advertising is all about. We will give you the easiest definition for it so you can have an easy but correct and very clear knowledge of this extremely powerful advertising approach. In video number three, you will learn why you should definitely use media buying for your business. You will learn about some of its amazing benefits as well as several shocking facts that will make you decide to start using it right away. In video number four, you will learn about the top 10 media buying websites you can use to start enjoying this amazing advertising strategy. There are several services dedicated to help you get the most out of media buying. In videos number five through number 12, you will watch our over the shoulder method on setting up a profitable media buying campaign from start to finish. We will cover topics like understanding your business, understanding your target audience, finding websites to advertise on, creating media buying ads, creating the landing page for advertisement, setting up your first media buy ad campaign, tracking your ad campaigns and testing, optimizing and scaling. In video number 13, you will learn the 10 do's you must follow for successful media buying campaigns. These are specific things you should remember to use or practice so you can succeed. In video number 14, you will learn the 10 warnings you should be aware of on media buying. Miss them and be prepared to be disappointed in your marketing efforts. In video 15, you will get the chance to look at several shocking media buying case studies. These are actual examples we have taken from the internet to show you how media buying actually works for other businesses so that you can have complete confidence in your ability to achieve your own business success story with it. In video number 16, you will learn how to use media buying as an internet marketer in order to make money online. Strategies that you can apply and definitely see great results in your internet marketing efforts. These strategies have been used by experienced internet marketers obtaining awesome results. Well, it's time to dominate media buying, fellas. I know you will love this training a lot. Video number two, what is media buying banner advertising all about? Definition, media buying is the business of purchasing advertising space and time on web, TV, radio, or other digital media to run ads and reach customers. It helps businesses to get targeted traffic on their website. But before buying online advertisements, there is a phase prior to that, which is called media planning. It assists you to examine your competition and web pages where you are looking for buying the ad space. Media planning also helps you create landing pages, banners, and placing ads for the ultimate organization. It becomes quite convenient for business owners to get the best results for their efforts. Brands and agencies want to boost their brand awareness, increase sales, reduce time consumption in buying cycles, and give more time to analyze, learn, and optimize performance in order to build an elegant media decision. Media buying is paid advertising media that varies from earned or owned media. By keeping a budget in mind, the very first step in media buying is that you need to determine when and where your ads should appear. Media buying comes in different formats, such as banner ads, text ads, and video ads. You can buy media from Facebook, MSN, Twitter, and many more places. So, discover and target the audience you are seeking, and choose a time slot when your ad will be displayed online to get the best results. Important things you need to keep in mind. 
Media buying is the best online visual advertising method to analyze your ROI. It is generally done on a CPM, cost per mile basis. You need to keep in mind the following points to build successful media buying strategies. 1. Why Why do you want to use media buying and what are you attempting to accomplish, such as increase sales, improve ROI and brand awareness, building a community, expand your reach, and many more. Number 2. Who Your audience is whom you want to target and attract to visit your website. You can define audiences by targeting them per their demographics, such as age, gender, interest, and profession, etc. You can also take advantage of geographical targeting to target them according to their locations. 3. Where Where can you look for your potential customers? Which websites do they visit? And where can you advertise to get them? You need to find websites related to your niche where your audience visits and advertise your campaign on those to get more and more visitors. 4. For how long? You have to set the time span when you want to run your ad on a particular website. To do this, you need to analyze the particular time frame when your targeted audience can be easily reached. 5. What is the budget? How much money can you spend on your media buying campaign? Defining the cost will help you manage your complete campaign expenses easily. You can start advertising with less than $50, and you can spend as much as you want. 6. Type of media buying. Which type of media buying method are you going to use in your marketing strategy? And 7. Use tracking. What are your tangible goals, such as what is your ROI? How many sales and clicks have you received? How many new followers you get, etc. You need to analyze your media buying campaign to know about your ROI, sales, and followers. How does media buying work? Media buying is one of the most consistent and definitive traffic sources to achieve long-term goals by buying ad space on those websites which recognize your needs and serve ads to the relevant audiences. Here are three types of media buying methods. You can choose the suitable one according to your business. Direct buy. Direct buying is good for small businesses and starters. You can directly buy the ad space by dealing with the owner. It is affordable and helps you build relations with the site owner. Setting up your own media buying campaign is easy. You can go for a direct media buying strategy with particular website owners related to your niche to get huge traffic from other web pages. Intermediate buy. Intermediate buying is good for beginners and established businesses. Here, small networks work to bring together publishers and advertisers. Small businesses can acquire the ad space on the basis of fixed monthly payments, CPM based and CPC. It is a 100% self-serve platform. Some intermediate agencies are AdOnion.com, BuySellAds, ExoClick, MEC Global, and many more. Network Buy Network buying allows you to buy media space that covers thousands of distant websites. By doing this, your chances for success increase many-fold. But it can also hamper your business if you do not have accurate numbers. With a Network Buy, you get a more favorable ROI than an intermediate buy or direct buy. You need to be sure that you own an out clause and always run even delivery because traffic comes intensely and energetically. Where to book ad space. Media buying is the strategy of running your ads on different websites to get targeted traffic. You can segment those websites according to their reach and interest. You can take advantage of media buying agencies, which provide media buying services to help businesses. These services will save you time and money. You can check out Buy Ads, Buy Sell Ads, Burst Media, Value Click, Google Ad Network, and many more. Using Google Ad Network assists you to advertise your ad on some highly visited web pages. Interactive Media Ad Agency Media buyers are the people who work for media ad agencies. These media buyers deliver complete services to your media buying strategies. They assist you in designing banner ads, choosing the websites to buy, serving the ads, and analyzing your results. Networks and Exchanges Advertising your campaign with networks can connect your business with many small and big websites. The networks market their affiliate websites ad space to sell on CPM, cost per mile, CPC, cost per click, and CPA, cost per action basis. Google, Yahoo, AOL, and Microsoft have their own set of policies. 
There are millions of other websites such as CPX Interactive, ValueClick, Burst Media, and AdBright. Many businesses take advantage of multiple websites for their ads to generate more revenue. Social Media The audience is more active on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Foursquare, and many more. So by not being active on it, you are losing a lot of traffic. You can incorporate social media into your media buying campaign to increase conversions. Buying ads on social media can also help you to get success. You have to focus on objectives, ad placements, ad types, targeting options, data and insights, measurement, and budget. With social media, you can target a huge audience according to their interest, demographics, and geographical location. Video number three. Why should you definitely use media buying for your business? Media buying is the purchasing of advertising space over various websites. This space is sold according to the size and budget of the marketer for the product that needs to be advertised. Online media buying allows the marketers to promote their product worldwide and expand their customer base. There are several benefits to media buying that are mentioned below. Improves efficiency. Media buying helps marketers increase the benefits and efficiency of their campaigns by thorough and efficient market research. It also helps increase efficiency by removing layers of contacts that many marketers have to face while pursuing any campaign. Media buying provides you the access to a vast amount of inventory over the internet. Furthermore, it streamlines the process, which saves you time and allows the marketer to focus on other important functions. Media buying campaigns help improve efficiency by handling all the tasks of advertising and providing it with the correct place and targeted audiences. As a result, attaining goals becomes easy. Cost Effective Media buying campaigns are cost effective because the media buyers can become active members of a marketing team of a company. Choosing a media buyer is beneficial because they will handle deadlines while ensuring the benefits for the business. It is a cost-effective process as compared to hiring a full-time advertising manager because media buyers are only paid for the efforts that they make. The media buying campaigns remove the middleman which leaves more budget for the actual expenditure. Ultimately, businesses can have additional opportunities to make better use of their financial resources and facilitate growth and development in the long run. Performance Gains Media buying campaigns increase the performance of the marketer from that particular ad. As advertisers receive the feedback of the audiences, it becomes convenient to evaluate the ins and outs of his campaign. The feedback and comments help to improve the product, which leads to overall success. The advertisers focus on utilizing this data for their benefit and improve the outcome. With this benefit, marketers have a chance to test more, test faster, and scale the complete process very well. This helps in monitoring ad performance and they can make relevant adjustments to it. Time saving. Online media buying campaigns are a time saving process because it doesn't require much time needed in other media buying processes. In this, the marketer does not need to track the performance of the ad on a daily basis. In the early stages, the process of buying impressions was time consuming. It took time for purchasing the guaranteed impressions from the publishers. But now, with online media buying, the buyer can get the required impressions and get their campaigns to market at the same time. The ad space gets auctioned to the highest bidder, which saves time because the bidding process takes place online. Consequently, they are able to use this time in a better and well-planned manner. Enhances Level of Expertise in media buying campaigns, marketers use highly knowledgeable specialists that are familiar with all the aspects of online media buying campaigns. No persons other than the marketer himself and internal marketing team can understand the company's customers, market, and industry easily. In-house advertisers have the benefit of having customer knowledge and products to run high-performing campaigns. Media buying campaigns always include the experts who know the media market. These experts have industrial knowledge, which helps ensure that a particular media owner offers a good short-term or long-term deal to them. Brand Enhancement With a proper media buying campaign, 
businesses have a chance to build up their brand because they have a chance to expand their customer base with less efforts on their end. By getting in touch with higher numbers of customers, brand value gets increased as more and more people get in the company's touch point. It helps them to know the company in a better way. Ultimately, with an extra emphasis being placed on how to attract more customers, the company slowly moves towards giving the best quality products and services, and so it adds to its brand building process. Higher ROI Return on investment ROI, is the most common aspect that needs to be kept in mind. It is a performance measure which is used to evaluate the efficiency of the investment or the number of investments. In media buying, the RTB, real-time bidding, helps gain the perfect ad space. As targeted customers load the page, and in that duration, ad space is provided to the highest bidder. This process takes less than a second. The higher the RTB, the higher the ROI will be. Using RTB, your return on investment increases as the marketer can experience the drastic enhancements in click-through rates and the conversion rate. Hyper-focused audience Making the ad customer-centric can get you the required traffic because the ad is placed on the relevant site which brings the targeted audience to your ad. The most powerful benefit of media buying is that you can place your ad at the relevant location which targets the correct audience. This helps in showcasing the product to the correct people who are already interested in purchasing your services or products. Media buying campaigns help your ad to be focused on highlighting your product correctly to the browsing audience. By effectively highlighting the product, it becomes quite easy for businesses to make their product reach customers easily. Ultimately, you'll have better chances of beating your competitors with less efforts. Add good quality score. Quality score plays a vital role in determining your ad rank in search engines. This determines the position of your ad appearance in the search engine, which in return specifies the amount of exposure and clicks your ad will receive. Quality score is important for determining PPC of an ad. The number of clicks you receive for your ad determines your quality score. This helps you pay the website owner on whose site your product is being advertised. Every click on your ad will make you pay the site owner and will benefit you by increasing your sales and rank in searches. As a result, it becomes very helpful for business owners to increase their sales and profit margins. Enhanced Customer Reach Media buying can increase a company's reach towards its customers and gain more exposure through advertisements. This will increase the customer's approach toward the advertisements, resulting in increased sales. Online media buying campaigns help the marketer to pace with the smart customer who can make purchases at any time of the day. It helps increase the chances of reaching customers with fresh challenges to increase your sales. For this, it is vital to integrate all the media buying choices to increase the customer reach. This integrating of choices provides greater value to the customer and opportunities to reach them. From the above-mentioned pointers, we can conclude that media buying campaigns help marketers advertise their products and services easily on other sites. This helps get unlimited traffic potential and enhances the marketing of a product just by buying more and more ad spaces. The traffic generated would help increase the sales and profit for the marketer. Eye-opening facts 72% of publishers and 85% of online advertisers are now using programmatic ad buying technologies. Online display advertising, banner ads, remarketing, and retargeting will capture the next biggest share of the online spend at about 34% of total online spend and about 10% of the total marketing budget. Marketers are forecasted to spend $27.6 billion on display advertising by 2016. Expert media buyers with good relationships with media outlets are able to negotiate and reduce advertising rates, sometimes by as much as 50%. Programmatic buying is boosting the pace of the expansion of display advertising, now the fastest growing segment of online advertising. With display advertising growing at 21% a year, it's expected to hit $74.4 billion in 2016. 80% of marketers would buy more if there were greater emphasis on quality of viewable impressions. U.S. interactive display media will grow from $12.7 billion in 2012 to $28 billion in 2017. That's an average annual rate increase of 17%. By 2016, RTB will make up 27% of all U.S. display ad spending.
70% of media buyers are already doing some programmatic trading. 35% of media buyers claimed that the likelihood of replacing direct relationship with programmatic buying was high, while 34% said it depended on its success. The average click-through rate of display ads is 0.1%. The average person is served more than 1,700 banner ads per month. Media cost is decreased by 68% with programmatic buying. Years of negotiating experience allow media buyers to devote more than 80% of your advertisement budget to space or airtime. Through competitive pricing tactics, media buyers can gain twice the number of impressions for 60 to 70% of the cost. Video number four, top 10 media buying websites. In this chapter, you will get a list of major online media buying networks. Businesses and marketers are always looking to buy web advertising space to get more traffic and sales on their websites. These media buying networks permit advertisers and publishers to connect with those customers they want to target. Some of these ad networks offer completely featured analytics to analyze their business results. Spark Media. Spark Media was established in 2004 as a performance-focused online advertiser. The company identified rapid changes in programmatic media buying and was revamped accordingly to grow as a major media buying service provider. Spark Media's basic aim is to provide a human touch to programmatic media buying advertising technology. It is determined and deals in automatic media buying across display, mobile, social, video, and rich media. An experienced team amalgamated with technology to get advertising success. Its services are programmatic media buying, rich media engagement, data-fueled media buying, and white-label trading desk. It enables branding to engage your potential audience, prospecting to maximize the results, sales, and ROI. Chitika Chitika, the online advertising network, was established in 2003 at Westboro. Chitika works on your media planning and buying strategy to display ads to your audience when and where they like to perceive them to make your campaign more valuable. It has 4 billion strategically targeted ads per month and 350,000 plus quality publishers. Advertisers can reach your customers locally. If you are a publisher, you can maximize your revenue with Chitika. You can choose the ad type relevant to your website. Chitika collects data on the basis of ad impressions. These ad impressions are generated when a visitor visits a page running with Chitika ad code. All the data, such as referrer, web browser, operating system ad impression, is collected and analyzed statistically to obtain an illustrative sample. Chitika top rank advertising partners are Yahoo, Supermedia, and HomeAdvisor. This website also assists your business with proper targeting and optimizing techniques to grasp the power of programmatic buying to serve correct ad and accurate times. Buy Sell Ads Buy Sell Ads is a great option for top-level content creators to monetize their brand. It offers a solitary solution to expand the reach and fan base of marketers and businesses. The network has more than 12,000 advertisers and over 1,500 publishers. It is on-demand, scalable, creative, and relevant. If you're an advertiser, you'll get the best results for automated media buying strategy and a single point of contact with hundreds of publishers with transparent pricing. Buy Sell Ads assists you in real-time performance tracking, targeting, analytics, and reporting that improve your ROI. It delivers 6 billion ad impressions per month. If you're a publisher, you can sell more by having complete command over your list. Publishers get paid for the potential audience and new customers they build. You can have complete control over what and where the ad will run. You can also build relationships with advertisers by self-serving to add benefit in your in-house team with fully transparent analytics. CPX Interactive CPX Interactive is a digital media holding company that enables technology, services, and resources to make digital media more productive and well-organized. It works to counter the innumerable challenges faced by marketers and businesses. CPX Interactive has five divisions, and all divisions work both separately and in concert. These divisions include B Real Time, a favored programmatic marketplace. It works with both buyer and seller to cultivate a mutually beneficial ecosystem in order to get maximum return and success. AdReady delivers programmatic creative, cross-channel media planning and buying, 
best-in-class targeting capabilities, transparent campaign execution, optimization, and reporting, white label solutions for marketers and businesses. CCDR Media makes use of cross-channel direct response strategies to inflate overall performance and cross-train strategies to reduce the risk. It also assists to provide some features to manage your campaign, such as account management, reach and scale, data solutions, custom creative and brand safety. Consumed Media's aim is to provide distinctive content to target potential audience for developing digital media ecosystems. It has 17 million monthly viewers. Hatched.at is serving as a problem solver, having a basic aim to eradicate tomorrow's advertising barriers. ExoClick ExoClick was founded in 2006 and established in Barcelona. It is the world's fourth largest ad network. With it, you will be able to unleash the potential of big data to maximize your ROI. ExoClick refreshes data every 60 seconds and utilizes analytics tools to enhance the power of your media buying strategies. This ad network provides you global coverage with 20-plus ad formats and multi-channel solutions such as web, mobile, tablets, and many more. This ad network also assists you with an Android app to control your campaign on mobile and also provide 24-7 customer service with a dedicated account manager. ExoClick helps advertisers with advanced targeting features, geo, language browsers, sites, multiple ad formats, RTB, real-time bidding system, cost control, behavioral targeting, and tracking. It also benefits publishers with ad safety, global coverage, manual and automatic checks of every single campaign, on-time payments, and real-time statistics. Advertise.com Advertise.com is an online advertising platform that is committed to boosting your ROI with powerful ad technologies. It delivers superior results for your online campaigns. It increases media buying campaign performance and quality to reach your goals. Advertisers can advertise their brand with this ad network to improve conversions, increase brand awareness, and build your targeted traffic. It helps get more leads, sales, remarket, and visitors with its contextual and remarketing strategies. Advertise.com also assists publishers to monetize their users. It provides ad hoc mobile ad rotator, in-text to earn more from your content, inter-yield premium pop under ads, XML feed for flexible, fast, and reliable XML, and banner ads for high-quality ads. DoubleClick DoubleClick is powered by Google to empower digital advertising globally. This ad network was founded to build, negotiate, and command online advertising for buyers and sellers. For advertisers, it nourishes and simplifies multiple online campaigns using a digital ad management platform. It's a brand-activated initiative to create online measurement with more aligned and actionable ads for brands. The ad network assists you to build your brand engagement with different display platforms. It utilizes media buying RTB to a broad-loom data-driven multi-channel approach to manage your campaigns. For publishers, DoubleClick offers them a complete ad revenue engine to get the best value for every impression. It also assists you to maximize command, transparency, and earn with DoubleClick AdX. Publishers can also take advantage of video ad solutions' celestial growth. Pulse 360 Pulse 360 is an easy-to-use platform to enhance your desired output with CPC, PPC, and CPM advertisement. Pulse 360 is a bequeath approach and amalgamated with customers such as agencies, businesses, brands, and affiliates to create and set up media buying campaigns to meet your objectives. The ad network calculates and obtains CPC, impressions, CTRs, and conversion rates to extend your objectives. It generates a media plan with audience targeting and pricing. Creative, audience, and media optimization are used to build creative ads, target the right audience, and place ads that work for you. If you are a publisher and looking to generate stable revenue apart from your direct sales and sponsorship, Pulse360 will help you to succeed. You can take advantage of text and text with ad images and high-impact display ads. Pulse360 receives 14 million impressions per day has 10,000-plus active websites that include NBCNews.com, Weather.com, and Comcast.net. It provides multiple ad formats. It allows you to target your audience based on geographic and device targeting. Also, it assists you with customer service. 
you can reach new customers, generate leads, target the right audience, and extend the reach of SEM SEO. Site Scout. Site Scout is one of the best self-serve ad platforms for agencies, businesses, and marketers. With it, you will be able to build and manage banner ad campaigns, mobile ad campaigns, rich media ad campaigns, and retargeting ad campaigns. The core features of Site Scout are real-time bidding, real-time statistics, granular reporting, maximum reach, and built-in ad serving for your media buying ad campaign. This leading demand side platform is comprised of built-in tools, ad planner, ad builder, and ad vault to make your media buying campaign easy to arrange and initiate. You will be able to track your performances with conversion tracking, day parting, landing page tracking, frequency capping, and budget pacing, and get the data to analyze results. You can use advanced targeting options with contextual, demographic, geographic, and domain targeting. Site Scout also assists you to retarget your lost customers with your media buying campaign. 7Search 7Search is an advertising network that helps you get your ads in front of your potential customers who are looking for your products and services, and you only have to pay when your ad is being clicked. This ad network increases your sales, builds your brand awareness, and increases website traffic. It helps you with display ads, PPC, pay-per-click ads, and mobile ads. If you're an advertiser, 7Search broadens your customer reach to obtain expected traffic and generate sales. Increase your ROI with low bid prices. Save money and get qualified leads with quality traffic. If you're a publisher, the ad network helps you with display ads, accessory ads, paper text ads, and referral programs to monetize your website and refer new clients. With this, you get high commission payouts and run XML ad feeds with your live campaigns. It enables you to work with new technologies, have vast range of high quality advertisers in various countries, and assist you with a personal account manager. Video number five, setting up a profitable media buying campaign from start to finish. Setting up a profitable media buying campaign is absolutely simple. We will now walk you through the process of creating one from start to finish, as well as give you some really important advice in the process. The steps we will cover are, step one, understanding your business. Step two, understanding your target audience. Step three, finding websites to advertise on. Step four, creating media buying ads. Step five, creating the landing page for advertisements. Step six, setting up your first media buying ad campaign. Step seven, tracking your ad campaigns. And step eight, testing, optimizing, and scaling. Step one, understanding your business. A business, also known as an enterprise or a firm, is an organization involved in the trade of goods, services, or both to consumers. Businesses are prevalent in capitalist economies, where most of them are privately owned and provide goods and services to customers in exchange for other goods, services, or money. The first thing you need to do is clarify what your business is all about, what your brand is, and what your purpose is in the marketing world. This is something that will help you clearly understand how you are going to connect your business with your audience through the web. The following questions will help you clarify and understand what the marketing vision of your business is all about. What do you actually do for people? Maybe you are already selling a product or offering a service for people. That will give you a great vision of exactly what you need to inform any new people of that fit into that same audience. What are those people looking for? What is the final goal they are after based on the service you provide? What feeling are they trying to reach with it? Do they need it to feel happy? Do they need it to survive? A lot of needs must be taken care of for a person to survive. What kind of information would they be interested to know more about and pay for? You already know the needs of your customers. You know exactly what kind of information will be highly helpful to them in order to help them satisfy those needs. Why don't you just create a great info product about it? How much money are they actually paying you for it? Knowing how much you usually charge for your service is a very important indicator. 
because if you decide to create a product like a report, a training video, software, or something directly related to your audience, you may simply be able to figure out a price tag you can easily stamp on it. How would they like to reach that content? Is it video, audio, written, or blogging? This is important to know. You may just think about it. Think of their limitations to read, hear, watch, or use the computer. If they can do every one of those things, just ask them what they would like to know about. Do they like to read? Do they like to watch videos? Do they like to hear audio? Do they like to browse the web? Do they like social networks? What are your competitors offering to your audience? In the marketing world, it is very important to study the competition that targets your exact audience. What do they generally offer? What things do they offer that you don't? Do they have more clients? Do they work additional hours? Do they cover a lot more needs than you? Can you offer a better service or product than your competitors? Once you know everything about your successful competitors, you can just offer the same thing, but with your personal touch plus a lot more great things that they are not offering. You can have special offers, free samples, free phone consultation, special discounts, etc. These questions are very important in deciding how to establish your business over the web. You can position almost any kind of business online because the internet is more than just information. It is a large audience of people with real human needs who are waiting for you and your service to satisfy them. Market Research In order to immerse your business into the internet marketing world, you must research online what interest and level of commerciality there is over the web for your product or service. The whole world of digital marketing is organized by topics. And what you need to do is research where your business actually fits into that. You can't just go straight to buying ads if you are not sure if the topic you are trying to work with is hot all over the web. You might be selling something really hot in your hometown or even in your country. If there is not an active audience over the web about that topic, then you are not going to get the desired results. You must pick a topic directly related to your product or service that can really bring you profit. And you can learn that by searching about it over the web. There are two extremely important principles the topic you are trying to work with has to have in order to consider it a hot topic to work with. And those two principles are high demand and high commerciality. High demand simply means how many people are actually interested in your topic over the web. By interested, I mean searching, liking, talking, etc. High commerciality simply means if people are actually spending money regarding your topic over the web. By spending money, I mean advertising or buying. How do you identify high demand topics? There are several tools you can use to identify if your topic has high demand. Those tools are keyword tools, social sites, and forums or blogs. Keyword tools. Here, your question should be, are people searching for it? The Google Keyword Planner tool is an awesome keyword tool provided by Google AdWords, which will easily help identify the demand of a lot of topics by the use of keywords. This tool will show you how many people are searching about particular topics, as well as closely related topics on a monthly basis, and also from what countries and languages. There are several things you can see right here to identify the demand of this niche over the web. As you can see below, I made sure Google would only show ideas closely related to my search terms, and I found a lot of closely related search terms. In other words, this amount of different audiences or groups of people are interested in my topic worldwide. Finally, you can also see the overall search volume for all the keywords listed, giving you the average monthly searches for a whole year, including the previous month. As you can see, this is an awesome topic. An estimate of 3 million people are searching for it on Google.com on a monthly basis worldwide. And that's only in English. There are other tools you can use to identify the online demand of a topic. Bing.com slash toolbox slash keywords. Wordstream.com slash keywords. Keyworddiscovery.com and Keywordspy.com. Social sites. Here, your question should be, are people showing interest in it? Social sites are the greatest way to find out if people are showing interest in a topic, 
and Facebook is the greatest one for this. Just perform a basic search on the Facebook search bar and click on the search button. Facebook will show you several elements with which you can identify all signs of interests about a topic. On the Pages section, you can see so many people actually liking pages directly related to the topic as well. People will need to click on a button named Like in order to like a Facebook page. That's real interest, too. You can also find a lot of interest shown on the topic by seeing if people are joining different groups talking about the topic. People joining a group gives a sense of belonging. This means people are interested enough to not only like and comment, but to actively talk and share the topic with other people. You can do the same with other social sites like Twitter.com, Pinterest.com, and LinkedIn.com. Forums and blogs. Here, your question should be, are people talking about it? There is no better place to know if people are talking about a topic in particular than on forums and blogs. The number of posts, number of comments, and recent posts will all be great indicators of the interest people show to talk about a topic. All of them are important and combined will be an awesome indicator. You can also Google the topic and find some blogs at the top, check their content, especially the social signals. This is a very important indicator of what topics are the hottest ones even inside your niche. How do you identify high commerciality topics? There are several ways you can do so. Keyword tools, purchases. Keyword tools. Here, your question should be, are people advertising products about it? The same keyword tools can give you that information too. Competition represents the number of Google AdWords advertisers that are actually using a particular keyword in their advertising campaigns. As you can see in this example, there are a lot of highs. Suggested bid represents the amount per click each advertiser is paying to Google once someone clicks on the ad placed for Google on its sponsor advertising area. As you can see, every click is high too. Another example to see if people are advertising products is by searching for products in online shopping places like Amazon, ClickBank, and Offer Vault. Purchases. Here, your question should be, are people spending money on it? The competition and suggested bid data given from the Google Keyword Planner is a very good indicator of people spending money on the topic. But here, you need to find out if regular internet users are actually buying stuff about the topic too. For that, we can also use Amazon and ClickBank, but with a different focus. Awesome! Now that you know your topic is hot, and now that you have many high demand and high commerciality subtopics coming to mind about the main topic of your product or service, it's time to learn what that online audience looks like, where they live, etc. Video number 6. Step 2. Understanding your target audience. Now comes an extremely important step towards succeeding with media buying, and that is knowing a lot about the people you are directing your product or service to. A target audience is the intended audience or readership of a publication, advertisement, or other message. In marketing and advertising, it is a specific group of people within the target market at which a product or the marketing message of a product is aimed. A target audience can be formed of people of a certain age group, gender, marital status, etc. For example, teenagers, females, single people, etc. A combination of factors, for example, men aged 20 to 30, is a common target audience. There are a few questions that can help you with this. What kind of people are you trying to reach? I'm really sure you already know the type of people that your product or service is directed to. You see them constantly, they contact you. And that tells you what kind of people they are and how you should treat them. What do they look like? Are they fat or skinny? Male or female? Old? Young or middle-aged? Where are they from? Maybe you have an audience that comes from other cities or even countries. That will help a lot online. You need to target everyone 
and adapt your information to all of them at the same time. The most important thing on this is that you have to know as much detailed information as possible for each and every one of those people. There is a really high possibility that people with the exact same situation will be more ready to perform the same things when it comes to spending money to satisfy their needs. But after you really know what audience you are actually working with, it's time to compare them with the online world. You might get similar results and also you will probably learn more about your audience thanks to the help of the internet. We count on awesome online tools to help with this too. In order to know more about your audience, search for highly popular websites that talk about your topic and see who visits those websites. To do that, you can go to alexa.com. And right here, in this search bar, you can just type your topic and you will see several highly popular websites related to your topic. Right here, you can find awesome information, like where are this site's visitors located? Where do visitors come from? What sites are related to this site so you can spy on them as well? And lastly, who visits this site? Which would be the second most important piece of information to know about your audience after the countries where they are located. You can also research more websites so you can know more about your audience. Alexa.com is cool, but if you want to know more about a site, you can go to follow.net. Type the website you want to analyze and there you will see a lot more helpful information about the site and hence about your topic. Here you will be able to see all the traffic estimates, SEO information, pay-per-click information, and display advertising, which will be very helpful for you with media buying. All of this here is perfect for you to use in your own media buying advertising efforts, which is just amazing. All this information right here will help you know more about your audience. More than that, it will help you find the right websites to work with in your media buying advertising efforts, which comes in the next step. Video number seven, step three, finding websites on which to advertise. Finding websites on which to advertise with media buys is very important. Now that you know your business as well as your targeted audience, you just need to look for websites that can logically target your business as well as your audience. First of all, you can locate those websites inside other websites. I know that sounds funny, but that's exactly what it is. Let me tell you what I mean. Just go to buysellads.com. So you don't get confused, remember, you will be looking for these types of sites as a traffic seeker. Advertisers are those who are looking to get traffic. You, publishers, are the guys that will give you that traffic. So, simple enough. What you will do right now is take a look at the advertisers area. And right there, you will see what buysellads.com is all about. These people sell 6 billion guaranteed ad impressions per month. No one is selling more. They know what they are doing and have been doing it better than anyone else since 2008. But more than just talking about them, let me show you how to find websites on which to advertise inside of buysellads.com. The first step you applied in this training is called understanding your business. So the first thing you must do is look for websites that understand your business as well. You will do that by looking for websites that are directly related to the topic of your business. You could do that by category or by just using the search bar. Well, fellas, that was extremely easy, right? Yeah, I can now see websites where I could promote my paleo diet business. Now that you have located a website who understands your business, you can now see if that website understands your target audience as well, which is the second step of the training you already applied, understanding your target audience. For that, you will take the domain on which you are planning to advertise and go to follow.net. Then, right there, you will see if this website understands your target audience which should be similar to the data you already got on the previous step. Cool. 
Now, let me show you another way to find websites that understand your business and target audience. 7search.com has recently launched banner advertising. You can certainly advertise your business to your target audience here, but with a different approach. 7search's graphical banners give you the ability to use images, rich media, and text to advertise your business and reach new customers. You can target based on country, vertical, time of day, keyword, OS, device, and even ISP and language. You already make sure the traffic is targeting your business by just selecting keywords. You will receive traffic only related to the keywords of your choice. And you can also make sure the traffic is targeting your audience by selecting the country, at least. Inside the Graphical Banners Reports area, you'll also be able to see which sites are advertising your banners. So that way you can delete those that don't bring you any traffic. One last method I would like to show you is the search engine method. For this one, you just need to go to any search engine and search something like Paleo Advertising. Then, you will find all kinds of awesome advertising opportunities from websites. Focus on websites that offer you advertising inside the same website or on other related websites that you can directly check and analyze. You will find all kinds of awesome opportunities depending on the niche in which you are interested in advertising. Video number eight, step four, creating media buying ads. After you have done your research correctly, you now have a very clear vision of what ads you are going to create. There are different ways to advertise with media buying, but the most used one is with banner ads. There are two banner sizes you should concentrate your efforts the most upon. Those sizes are 300 by 250 and 728 by 90. When creating your banner ads, there are four elements you should be aware of. These elements are kind of obvious and are something you should include in any kind of advertising. Those elements are the headline, the body copy, the graphic, and the call to action. What I think the most important thing to do when trying to create something yourself is to spy. Yeah, spy on your competitors. There are a lot of ways to do that. You can research inside the Google Images for banners related to your niche topic. Take a look at those who are the most attractive to you. An image that can make you curious. An image that can make you act by clicking on it to find out more about their product. Here you can see the title, the body copy, a really nice graphic, and the call to action. You can also just research online for niche websites related to your topic and take a look at the banners they display. You should take a look at those at the top of the page, which is the most privileged area to display banners. You can also research on CPA websites such as MaxBounty.com and PeerFly.com. CPA publishers will always try to do their best with their marketing tools to make as much money as possible. They know that if you have the greatest and most attractive tools to use, as an affiliate, they will make money as well. So, they invest money, time, and effort to create something of quality for you to use. Here you will find a lot of awesome examples as well. Now, let me show you a few tools which can help save you a lot of time, money, and effort creating banner ads. There are two ways to get your banners done. You can do it yourself, or you can pay someone to do it for you. If you would like to create the banners yourself, you can use online tools such as banner.photer.com and canva.com. These tools, like others, offer a very nice online interface with all the tools you would ever need to create banners yourself. You can also use banner advertising services that have a banner creator section inside their site, such as bannersnack.com. If you decide to pay someone to do it for you, you can Google that and you will find a lot of opportunities to have your banner professionally created by someone experienced. Just take a look at every website in the top of Google. You can also use the Warrior Forum for this. And you can make it a lot cheaper by using Fiverr.com for this. 
The miracle of technology is that you can get almost any internet marketing task done in just a few clicks and with just a few bucks available. Video number nine. Step five, creating the landing page for advertisement. As the name states, a landing page is the page where visitors will land after clicking on your banner ad. But this landing page won't be just any landing page. It will be a page specifically optimized to entice the visitor to do something. You can find a lot of different kinds of high quality landing pages on the web, but all of them are grouped into three major types lead capture landing pages, click through landing pages, and direct sale landing pages. Lead capture landing pages. Lead capture landing pages are single pages whose principal purpose is to collect the contact information, specifically the email address, from anyone who enters the page in exchange for something of value. There are many ways online marketers use this type of landing page to capture leads. Free ebook delivery, webinar registration, consultation for professional services, discount coupon or voucher, contest entry, free trial, a physical gift via direct mail, or notification of a future product launch. Click through landing pages. Click through landing pages are single pages whose principal purpose is to introduce the visitor to a product or service and prepare him to buy that product or service by inviting him to another page after clicking on another button located inside that page. A banner usually grabs viewers' attention to get them to click, but it will not tell you all of the benefits of a product or service. In order to make a purchase decision, the visitor will need to have not one, but several reasons to buy it. The sales page itself may already have that ambient built in but you can create something a lot more attractive for the visitor, making your proposition a lot more irresistible than the sale page of the product. You can show your own testimonial about that product or service. You can share additional testimonials as well, or you can even offer some sort of additional bonus as a special promotional for that day alone. That's why this page is commonly known as a review page, and it is mostly used by affiliate marketers. Direct Sale Landing Pages if you are the owner of the product or service, you'll usually send all the traffic to this page. Direct sale landing pages are usually a page specifically designed for the visitor to buy the product directly. It is a page where you'll be able to use all kinds of high quality marketing tricks that will give the visitor all the reasons they need to buy your product or service at that exact moment. If you would like to find out how experienced marketers use landing pages, just do what the masters do spy on other people's landing pages. You check for those niche-related websites, look for the banners and click on them, and see where they redirect their traffic to. This is another awesome way for you to mimic what they do, and even be able to have the same results if possible. To make things a lot easier for you, the internet is an amazing place where you can get all this done a lot easier than what you would imagine. You could just Google it, and you'll find all kinds of awesome resources. You can also check out places like OptimizePress.com, LeadPages.net, and BuyLandingPageDesign.com. I know there are a lot of options for landing pages, and you might be asking yourself which one to use. What I advise you to do is test them all. Yeah, prepare all of them with the same information, and get them ready to test, each and every one of them. Your results will tell you which one works the best. Remember. Results may vary because there are a lot of things involved in the marketing process. Marketing online is growing at the same speed as technology. Things change over time and people change over time. For that reason, marketing also changes over time. That's why you must always stay tuned to the latest updates for marketing over the web. Video number 10, step six, setting up your first media buying ad campaign. Creating a media buying campaign is very easy, just like almost anything online. First of all, go over to buysellads.com. Then in the top right corner, you'll click on login. 
If you already have an account, just go ahead and log in. If not, then create an account by clicking on Create an Account. Because I already have an account, once I log in, I'm redirected to the campaigns area. What you'll do is go to the Marketplace. You'll be able to search all websites in different ways. A really cool one is by Discounts. You can also search by Topic. You then can pick a website. You'll see different options of advertising listed. Just make sure to find an advertising opportunity for 300 by 250 or 728 by 90 sized banners. You'll click on the Buy button and close this window. Then you'll go to the Shopping Cart section. Please don't panic if you see something very expensive. If you decide to pay advertising per the number of impressions, you'll be able to pick the quantity. You can just go for the lowest one for testing purposes, and you'll see how the dollar amount drops. $80 for this is really cheap. Advertising on a high quality website is something awesome. It's like having an awesome website with a lot of great quality traffic at your disposal to place a banner on a strategic advertising space, as if it were yours. With 50,000 impressions, if I get a regular 1% of clicks, it will be 500 clicks. That will be around 20 cents per click, which is really cheap compared to major PPC advertising networks. And the cool thing about it is that you are advertising images, which is something that can get you a lot more clicks than text ads. You then can upload your image by clicking on Upload Creative. Then you'll type the image alt text. Enter the URL you want the traffic to be sent to, and then upload your image. You'll see the image preview in the right side. You'll now be able to check out. You'll be able to pay with PayPal or credit card. You'll then see your ad campaign in pending mode, waiting to be approved. Here, you see some ad campaigns I ran in the past. You can see how a few of them got really low costs per click. The wonderful thing about these types of media buying networks, like buysellads.com, is that they allow you to invest a minimum amount of money so that you can test small before thinking big. If you have good results with a small budget, it's more likely to happen once you do it with a bigger budget. Same applies for bad results. You can't just spend more money on something that didn't bring you good results right at the beginning. Good quality is always good. It's not good sometimes and bad sometimes. Maybe the traffic source might not be the problem. Maybe it is your ad or your offer. So, that's why it's always better to track, test, optimize, and scale, which are the last two steps we are going to cover right now. Video number 11. Step 7. Tracking your ad campaigns. Campaign tracking refers to a procedure of monitoring. It refers to methods of identifying the ways users discover your page. As a general rule, you make use of campaign tracking tools such as Google Analytics to track online traffic campaigns created for your website. You can use different customizable campaign tracking points to adjust whether ensuing ad referrals override previous referrals to your site. You can achieve this through organic or paid means. Before you go and configure campaign tracking, it's important that you fully understand how campaign tracking works and discover how you can use it for the purpose of tracking referrals to your website. 
how tracking works. Tracking works through a process known as URL tagging. URL tagging is a process that involves the adding of unique identifiers to destination URLs. The addition enables them to be labeled with certain campaign names when they get reported in the tracking tool. In layman's language, tracking makes it possible for you to break down traffic that is usually reported by its source, traffic that is later attributed to individual emails or the paid search campaigns you are running. URL tagging comes in handy by improving the value of every campaign for the agency you are working for, more so if you have set goals in your tracking tool. It reports on every specific campaign's conversion metrics. While managing numerous pay-per-click campaigns together with various online marketing endeavors, it's important that you neatly separate data in your tracking tool. If you don't take the time needed to tag the destination URLs, data you receive will not attribute to a particular channel. Useful Tracking Tools Google Analytics An excellent tool run by Google. The tool allows users to grab vital information concerning their website visitors. The tool allows you to track statistics including traffic sources such as paid search, organic search, and social media platforms. The tool gives you data about the viewed pages, the time spent on the site, the exit page, and let's not forget the demographic information. Understanding the ways your web visitors interact with your website is a critical aspect of the successful development of new ad campaigns. Bit.ly, a very powerful free tool whose primary role is a URL shortener. However, the tool provides users with link tracking as well. A free tool that is quite easy to use, providing users with a fresh middle ground, especially for individuals that don't have all the time to look keenly into statistics. SurveyMonkey, a free online tool helping you create polls and collect free responses. The responses allow you a first-hand look at what your customers think of your marketing and how they think you should improve. Clicks Cost per clicks, also known as PPC, pay-per-click, are an online advertising model that people use to direct traffic to their websites. The advertiser needs to make payments of a certain amount to the website owner where their ad is displayed, every time the ad is clicked. Cost per click is defined as the amount of money people spend to have their ad clicked. A click simply means how many people have clicked on an ad and therefore visited your site. Impressions When it comes to the context of internet marketing, an impression is when an ad is seen and is countable. Clicking an ad or not having it clicked is not taken into account when it comes to impressions. However, every time an ad is displayed, it counts as an impression. Click-through rate CTR. Click-through rate, or CTR, is a way of measuring the success of an online advertising campaign for an individual site. It also measures the effectiveness of email campaigns through the number of browsers that clicked on a particular link. Importance of having a high CTR. Click-through rate gives you a broader perspective of how well your ad attracts visitors. Click-through rates give a base of visitors that have the potential of converting into customers. Low CTRs impact CPC, which finally will affect the ROI. CTR is critical since it helps gauge success relative to competitors, as well as between campaigns. A clear call to action can significantly increase CTR, and having a high CTR will let you get the most advantage from your traffic. It's important to make use of these tracking tools. However, to make things much simpler, you can switch to the media buying advertising platform. This platform allows you to track your ad campaigns cheaply, easily, and more efficiently. BuySellAds.com offers you a very simple tracking interface. This information alone can help you track the traffic you have paid for. You could use other advanced tools to track a lot more details from the traffic coming to your website from the BuySellAds.com publisher you decide to use. As you can see, here you have impressions, clicks, and CTR. In this panel, you will be able to find useful information. This publisher charges per impression. He charges $1.75 per 1,000 impressions of your ad in his blog. This charging approach has nothing to do with CPC. But anyway, the costs per impressions, the number of impressions, and the clicks can tell me the CPC I'm paying for this ad campaign. Take the cost per 1,000 impressions and multiply it by the number of thousands of impressions I have already got. 
and that will give me the amount of money I have already spent so far in the ad campaign. That amount of money I will divide by the number of clicks, and that will be the CPC I'm actually paying to this publisher per click for people clicking on my ad on this website. That CPC is kind of high. That's why it is important that you test and optimize your campaign and not let it run until it is finished to see how it was. But we will cover that in the final step. Video number 12, step eight, testing, optimizing, and scaling. One of the biggest mistakes made by marketers, including experienced ones, is that we are all too lazy to test and optimize our ad campaigns, and we let it run until it is finished to see if we should keep using the traffic source or not, and that is a really bad habit. We must put some effort into this. We must start using our brain more than for the common and easy tasks of just setting up the ad campaign. Don't you think that those ad networks have invested a lot of money to create a high technology ad optimizing interface because they know testing and optimizing is extremely important? You must set a plan and have a strict rule when it comes to how much money or how many impressions or how many clicks you will set as the limit to test an ad, a traffic source, or an offer. Tests consist of a procedure intended to establish the quality, performance, or reliability of something, especially before it is placed into widespread use. The three core elements you will need to test in your ad campaigns are your ad itself, the traffic sources, and the offer. All three are important if you want to get the desired ROI. The first $10 spent can tell you how these three elements work together. Then you can start changing the ad, then the traffic source, and finally the offer you are promoting. The way you can make sure your ad is of high quality is by taking a look at the CTR. If your CTR is high, it means people are feeling attracted to your ad up to the point to make them click. The way that you can make sure the traffic source is of high quality is by taking a look at the conversion rate. If your conversion rate is high, it means people are feeling attracted to your offer up to the point to submit their name and email or they buy an offer. The way you can make sure the offer is of high quality is by taking a look at the conversions rate as well. If your CTR is awesome but the conversion rate is not, before deciding to change your offer, you should test other traffic sources. After testing other traffic sources, you will then be more than ready to change the offer. It takes some time and money, but the common sense of testing is a test. As I stated before, tests consist of a procedure intended to establish the quality, performance, or reliability of something, especially before it is placed into widespread use. So, if you want to get your ROI into widespread use, you must first test it until you reach that sweet spot. I decided to buy 50,000 impressions for testing purposes. That cost me almost $90. For the first ad, as you saw in the previous step, the CPC was too high. I took a look into the sales I made from this advertising campaign so far, and it was only $30. The advertising campaign is coming to an end. That means a really low ROI. The mistake I made here is not to add multiple creatives from the beginning. I could upload multiple images targeting the exact same offer in order to find the one that gives me the highest CTR. That will bring me more clicks and will make my ROI increase significantly. I could also upload multiple images targeting different offers, so I could test different offers with different images using the exact same traffic source. So my strongest advice is to get the most out of testing and optimizing your ad campaign. Once you have found the perfect ad traffic offer companionship, which will bring you a really nice ROI, then you can concentrate on scaling your campaign and spreading its use. Video number 13, 10 do's you must follow for successful media buying campaigns. Campaign planning. For every media buying campaign, there is a phase prior to launch called media planning. This includes analyzing your numbers, competitors, and the site on which you have to buy ad space. 
It also involves making banners, landing pages, tracking links, and placing pixels for the final configuration of your campaign. The process of choosing the site for your advertisement falls under campaign planning. The most common and straightforward way to approach a site is to just narrow down all the domains that meet your campaign criteria and target those sites for ads. Target Audience Audience plays an important role in increasing and decreasing sales. You have to target the audience in order to get the correct sales. Successful targeting is the key to success. From your past experiences and customer feedback, always try to judge what they require and make your advertisement accordingly so that large numbers of audience gets targeted. A great advertisement spend is determined by the audience it generates for you. Media buying campaigns can only be successful when it draws a huge group in favor of your product. For getting good audiences, you must choose the site which has the highest traffic on it. By doing so, your activities are directed in the right direction. Define your goals and expectations. For succeeding through media buying campaigns, you must be dedicated to attaining your goal right from the beginning. The success of any campaign depends on the goals and expectations delivered from the product. The primary objective can have a huge impact on the texture and composition of your campaign. If the goal is to generate financial resources, you don't need to worry about the initial expenditure. If you have to attract a larger audience, then you have to advertise your product with larger appeal or have to create a good media buying campaign. This can prove to be crucial for the success of your campaign. Be consistent. Consistency holds the key to success. Some advertisers think of changing the tagline, color, or even mix up their new campaigns in the advertisement to make it more attractive. It can backfire at times too. Be consistent with your advertisement's basics so that customers can recognize your brand from one advertisement to the next. Being consistent doesn't mean you have to keep repeating the same layout again and again. It simply highlights the fact that you should be able to stand on your expectations. The point of consistency doesn't mean killing creativity from your advertisement. Find benefits. People don't buy products. They buy the benefits that accrue from it. Before deciding your campaign, you must see what benefits your product offers them, as well as for your brand building. Your advertising will always succeed if it has the benefits that customers are expecting. By using a media buying campaign, you can benefit by attracting a large audience by providing them a solution for their problem. You can provide benefits to your customers such as the product saves time and makes their life easier, which will attract customers to your product. Ultimately, you are giving them what they are looking for. Have separate identity. The idea of making a creative ad should revolve around the consumer's insights and relevant messages. A unique, entertaining ad will be more memorable to the customers as compared to the typical conservative ad. From this, a brand personality is created that must be carried through to every touch point of the brand. It is your creativity that will make your budget go further, not the other way around. When all this happens correctly, you'll find that you are striking a chord with your target audience, and it will help you become a success story in the long run. Campaign Objective A campaign is never worthless and one should know the main objective of the campaign. For a media buying campaign, the campaigning team should have an integrated approach to plan, buy, track, analyze, and optimize the main objective of the campaign. The campaign objective should be created with the previous stats and feedbacks of customers in mind, so that the campaign will be able to attract a larger audience. By considering the objective of campaigning, you can create your advertisement and platform tailored according to your budget. Your campaign objective should keep you on track and would help you get the correct media buying and audience. Cost Efficiency Media buying campaigns are cost efficient because we do not have to spend the money for building a whole website. Instead, we have to just purchase the small space of some other website to place our ads there. For this purpose, we can search the site which has the maximum traffic to it and find the relevant place on it for our ad. Due to this, we have higher chances of getting targeted audiences to our ad and our sales would also increase through it. This also helps to get a higher ROI for your business. It is always suggested to choose the site which is most visited by your target audiences because it can bring large targeted audiences to your campaign. Quantify your targets. Nowadays, every campaign has to serve a well-defined purpose. 
careful thought is given to creative aspects to get the best results for your business and ultimately the sale of the product. For this, you have to focus on clear and defined targets so that you can achieve your target of getting good sales through your media buying campaign. Your ad should be very clear and specific about your product, benefits, and sales. If you have clear and defined targets, you'll easily be able to meet customer requirements for your product's benefits. This also increases the growth prospects of your business. Campaign Optimization Campaign optimization involves the cutting of losses from a campaign before scaling gains. This optimization occurs from the beginning to the creative, and from there moving to placements and individual sites. The most important level of campaign optimization is the creative level. For a good media buying campaign, you must have the correct and sufficient data that can be processed and used for the ad. By keeping all the above mentioned points in mind, businesses can ensure that they will create a successful media buying campaign that helps them get targeted traffic and get the profits that they've always wanted. Video number 14, 10 warnings you should be aware of. Budgeting without data. During a media buying campaign, the budget shouldn't be decided without the data you want to post on an ad. Budget for the ad should be decided according to the size of the ad space you are buying on the site. The budget of the ad depends on the time the ad will be displayed on the website. It also depends on the number of pages on the website it is being displayed on. Marketers should not create the budget without working on the above factors because the ad space provider can charge you more for the lesser data. If overlooked, it can prove to be a critical area. Overlooking Call to Action The call to action serves as the most important point when it comes down to getting customers' attention for your products or services. Each and every business has to give importance to the call to action. With so many points to be kept in mind, many business owners forget to add an attractive call to action on their websites. It proves to be quite fatal when the results appear for their efforts. Therefore, it is suggested that businesses should place a good call to action on their website. It should also be noted that it can be included at more than one place on the website. Being repetitive. Being repetitive can surely be a red signal for your website. Don't use the same ad every time. It decreases customer attraction to the ad. Be creative and imaginative. Unique ads will attract more customers to your product. You should not stick to the same type of advertising for every product because it would seem like you are promoting the same product. Also, being creative doesn't mean that you should not promote your brand. Your brand should be carried forward in the same manner as it used to be. This would make your brand familiar to the customers. Effective Website Targeting Before doing a media buy, you must decide who your targeted audience is and choose your site accordingly to it. For instance, if your targeted audience is younger people, then you must select the site which is being most visited by younger people. This would increase the targeted audience for your ad and would increase your sales. The site chosen for placing the ad should not only bring the targeted audience to it, but it should also have traffic on it. This traffic would bring the targeted audience, which would affect the sales of the product and allow the marketer to profit. Setting Unrealistic Expectations Planning to become the best does not make you the best. Sometimes, what many media buyers do is they set targets that are practically never possible to attain. Sometimes, the marketers think that excessive marketing would increase their sales. The ROI would be increased if they did their marketing on the website with higher traffic. Many media buyers think that effective content can increase the sales. Content focusing on the challenges and needs of one audience can't be used effectively for other audiences that don't share the same challenge. Running a campaign without a plan. Media buyers sometimes start a media campaign without planning the complete process. Without defining goals, having a clear expectation and a clear action plan, brands won't get the desired result. It is seen that media buyers are sometimes not prepared for handling the queries of customers due to the lack of planning. They should understand the value of planning the campaign because it helps them drive brand loyalty and consequently sales. Without a clear strategy on what to do while performing a media buying campaign, including the way to evaluate results of a campaign, 
you'll have limited benefits of a media buying campaign. Jumping directly to sales. Business owners have a basic tendency to think mostly about sales and sales only. This can be proven to be quite hazardous because a complete orientation towards sales is just not justified. Marketers should have a long-term nurturing process for customers who may be interested in the future. This helps to create long-term relations with the clients which could affect your sales positively. Along with that, it should be kept in mind that customer relationship management needs to be given high importance too. Remember, if you can't hold your customers, you can never be successful. Targeting audience precisely. Media buyers should not only focus on buying the ad space, but also on targeting the correct audience through the ad. The capability of media marketing and real-time bidding can help you get the correct traffic to your ad. They must buy the ad space on that website which has high traffic and is suitable for their ad. This would help you increase the sales of your products and services. If a media buyer has to make a profit through an online media buying campaign, then he should target the right audience which could increase the sales of his products or services. Ignoring competitors In the media buying process, competitors can teach us a lot and may save our resources. Media buyers can learn from mistakes or errors that were committed by their competitors. Past experiences of your competitor should help you learn from his mistakes and the bottlenecks of his products and services which affected his sales. Along with that, it also needs to be kept in mind that one of the best ways to learn is to learn from the mistakes of others. So, keep a close eye on the competitors and avoid mistakes that they have made. Focusing on big websites only. For online campaigns, media buyers aim at the bigger or the higher ranking site because they get higher traffic. But before choosing a site, they must understand that the site chosen for campaigning is relevant for your product and services. A media buyer can run his ads on the smaller site having relevant traffic and highly engaged clients. Here, the media buyer can deliver both the volume and the response a client wants. Obviously, this can vary from person to person. But the point is to consider the best solution to reach the targeted audience with the available data. From the above mentioned points, we can conclude that if these points are avoided, media buyers can save a lot of money and improve their knowledge of online media buying campaigns. By avoiding these, a media buyer can increase his sales. Video number 15, Shocking Media Buying Case Studies Rangemaster Rangemaster is the best cooker appliance manufacturer in Britain and famous for their style and functionality. The aim of Rangemaster was to increase their brand awareness and expand their new customers' reach and retarget their existing audience. Rangemaster incorporated with TCS Media to increase digital activity and make the best use of RTB for laser targeting their audience and to reduce waste. As a result, it observed that there was quality traffic driven to its website. It also observed a great reduction in its cost per visit to its page. It also saw an increase of 82% in visitors on its website. Saxoprint Saxoprint is one of the biggest online print houses in Europe. It was started in 1991 as a local printing business. The aim of Saxoprint was to lift their brand awareness in the UK market, establish themselves in creative sectors and marketing, and build their acquisitions of fresh potential customers. Saxoprint came together with MediaReach to formulate an integrated media buying campaign that mainly focused on PR, media planning and buying, sponsorships, and events. Saxoprint achieved 318,700 inserts in printed media. A total of 1,080,000 reached via event, award, and festival sponsorships. They extended their reach to 625,000 at the London Design Festival through website banners and official show guides. They got 451,000 impressions with social media, postcards, and unique visitors and newsletters. Hotels.com Hotels.com is a leading provider of online and offline hotel room booking and accommodations. It aimed to relaunch the brand and wanted the help of a partner with a properly designed campaign, planning buying optimization, and tools for measurement for finding out customer level of awareness. The company partnered with TubeMogul and online and TV ad buying campaigns. TubeMogul 
used its integrated brand measurement survey tool brand sites to understand the insights the media agency also ran a survey test with a brand message to retarget the customers who had not seen the ad or seen the ad online tv and both with real-time survey results Hotels.com saw a lift in message recall that was 190% greater than not seen ads, only TV ads, and was 209% greater for online ads and viewers who saw the ad on TV. And online had a recall of 255% more than those who didn't see the ad. Breaking Media Breaking Media is one of the leading digital B2B media companies in law, finance, energy, defense, government, healthcare, and fashion. Its other sites are Above the Law, Deal Breaker, Fashionista, Breaking Defense, Breaking Energy, and Breaking Gov to develop niche audiences. These sites attract 2.2 million unique readers per month. The publisher sent unsold lists to the ad networks and exchanges, but the company was not happy with the results. Breaking Media wanted to improve their CPM. Breaking Media teamed up with OpenX. OpenX Real-Time Auction helped Breaking Media's valuable audience with precise advertisers. In a shorter period, they got their CPM within the range of $0.85 cents to $1. After six months, they were getting a $1.25 CPM revenue. Mr. Minkin said, Their guarantee is an incredible deal for us. Our revenues are up and we can count on it, with less effort on our part. I'd recommend OpenX to any publisher. iRobot iRobot was established in 1990 by Massachusetts Institute of Technology Roboticists. It drafts and creates some of the world's most important robots. After having 20 years of practice robotics, it wanted to jump into consumer electronics by taking advantage of their history and initiate themselves as a premium brand. It teamed up with Total Media, which used a multi-platform perspective to launch in the UK with various impressive, inventive, and creative formats. The media agency carefully chose the media planning and buying and other services to maximize the chances to succeed. To improve the efficiency and productivity of the campaign, a number of media buys were mediated on a cost per engagement basis. They got huge traffic to their website. The engagement rate was increased 6% with the unique media formats and they reached 44% of their targeted audience. Rosetta Stone Rosetta Stone was founded in 1992. It developed the use of bilateral software to escalate language learning. The company's technology-driven literacy and brain fitness solutions are used by thousands of schools, businesses, and individuals. The objective of Rosetta Stone was to make their campaign the most effective with low cost, get more sales, and improve their brand awareness among their customers. Rosetta Stone approached Arm Media as mandatory agency for their media planning and buying campaign. The demographics of Rosetta Stone was ranging from young people to working professionals. Arm Media formulated the strategies to target their potential audience with TV, press, online video on demand, search marketing, and online media. As a result, their campaign became cost-effective. They got more new customers and also bought media in Germany and continued the plans. Intuit Intuit was founded in 1983 with the basic objective of quickening personal finance software with the overall aim of simplifying the finances of every family. It basically believed in the power of the human individual and its capacity to do more and to achieve everything possible. Their products are focused on how people run and manage their finances and operate their businesses. Its challenge was that it needed the help of a partner that had high efficiency and could increase the conversions at a low cost. To achieve its objectives, it teamed up with Advertising.com and they focused on online audience objectives and creating custom behavioral segments in a complete manner. As a result, their CTR doubled, conversion rate increased 8 times, and it observed an 18 times higher conversion metric. Clark's Clark's is an international shoe manufacturer and retail brand that does not need any introduction. It was founded in 1825 by two brothers, Cyrus and James Clark, who had access to limited resources that were available to them. Today, it operates in more than 35 countries. Clark's boasts of a huge customer base, so its basic problem was that it wanted to advertise the right shoe at the right time to its customers. It also wanted to remain fresh in the minds of its customers for a long time. To solve their problems, it took the help of 
Criteo. It helped them by creating highly personalized ads that aimed to provide the right shoes at the right time when they were looking to make a purchase. They still work on a regular basis to analyze and optimize their campaigns. As a result of this partnership, Clark's was able to eliminate the ads that were placed at irrelevant locations and focus on its customers. Ultimately, it observed an impressive 130% increase in conversion rates and a 44% increase in its sales. FragranceNet Fragrance.net was created with the basic objective of providing people with good quality and useful fragrances and other types of skincare products at reasonable prices to facilitate more purchases. They have the basic objective of ensuring that customer experience is satisfying and pleasant. The biggest challenge for them was to extend their strategy of providing good quality products to numerous people at affordable prices. For solving this, they got the help of Criteo, which helped them to make use of display advertisements to facilitate customer experience. Ultimately, they were able to see an increase of 100% in click and impression volumes for mobile and desktop, get a 70% increase in revenues, 70% increase in volume order with a conversion rate of 6.3%. Flight Network Flight Network was established in 2005 with the basic aim of providing travelers with the lowest possible airfares, hotels, car rentals, etc. to make their journeys a pleasurable experience. It's the largest Canadian online travel company and it proudly serves more than 2 million travelers around the globe. Keeping the cutthroat competition in mind, it wanted to focus on new conversion techniques so that they could provide the right offers when they were needed. They wanted help from an experienced partner that could keep them up to date with the latest advertising regulations. As a solution, they joined hands with Criteo in 2012 to launch a performance display program with the ultimate aim of reaching visitors on a large scale and converting them into customers. As a result, Flight Network was able to see great results for their business operations. They were able to increase their conversions by a whopping 380% and increasing sales to new customers by 19.6%. Video number 16. Media buying for internet marketers. Making money online. There are many ways to make money online, and the wonderful thing about media buying is that you can use it to make money with each and every one of those ways. Media buying is one of the most flexible ways to make money online. One of the most common problems we as marketers face when working with the majority of the paid advertising networks out there is that they have so many rules that we don't have the time to know and understand every one of them. They just disapprove our ad, or even our account, before knowing the reason why we got banned. That won't happen with media buying, because you will be dealing with the publisher directly. He just needs to check your ad and website, and he will approve it in 24 hours max. I myself have not gotten disapproved for any ad using buysellads.com, and I have had great traffic coming from it. Media buying has huge potential for money making. Being an online marketer, media planning and buying will assist you in building powerful marketing strategies to get your desired success. Media buying has less competition, less rules and regulations, and possesses a potential to target precise audiences. There's no inventory markup pricing, and you can start on any budget and analyze your campaign easily. This is how you can make money online with media buying. Affiliate Marketing this is one of the easiest and most common ways marketers pick to make money online. This consists of you joining an affiliate network such as Amazon, ClickBank, JVZoo, ClickSure, NeverBlue, MaxBounty, PureFly, etc. There are so many affiliate networks out there and they are all free to join. Once you have created your account, you can pick from high quality products created in a lot of different categories. It's just like going into a high-quality product shopping mall, picking the most awesome and highest converting product of your choice, and deciding to promote it. You then pick your unique and personalized affiliate URL where you will send all the traffic to. And once people start buying from it, you will be able to get 50% or even up to 100% of the price of the product for yourself as a commission. Yeah, in your own pocket, without having to deal with product delivery. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to make money that way. But you have to get the traffic, and that's where media buying may come into play. You can insert that affiliate URL directly into the media buying ad campaign. It's not like other PPC networks where you can get banned for doing that. 
With media buying, you can certainly do it that way. List building. Building a list is one of the greatest things an online marketer could ever do. You can build your list on absolutely any topic with the help of the internet. Building a targeted list can help you guarantee the traffic that comes to your website. If you have a 10,000 person list of subscribers and send 500 visitors to your website, let's say every two days from that list, that will be 7,500 clicks of absolutely free traffic. The only thing you have to do is pay your autoresponder service to maintain that list. But how can you build that list? Here is where media buying comes into play. You just need to build a really attractive lead capture landing page like the ones you see on this training. Then, you create a media buying campaign on websites directly related to your landing page's niche. And then you can create an email marketing plan to promote your offers with 100% free traffic. Of course, you'll have to spend money to create your list, but it's something you will recover in a very short period of time, and you'll get to keep your list for the rest of your life, if you know how to treat it. Product Launch if you are an advanced marketer and know how product launches work, you could easily get the most out of product launches with media buying. You can buy media buying advertising on digital product launch platforms such as ClickBank, Warrior Forum, and others. You may also be able to buy media buying advertising in very important internet marketing websites such as Munchai and John Chow. If you would like to promote non-internet marketing launches, you can easily use the techniques you have learned to get as much traffic as you want from as many different websites as you want. Remember, it's always better to test. You should test the traffic sources you are planning to use on a launch. You can just promote related affiliate offers before you launch and see if those people who visit those websites you plan to advertise on are action-taking people. If people buy using your affiliate link, then they will most probably buy your products in the upcoming launch, because buyers will be present in the traffic coming to those websites. Video Marketing You can also buy video ads to promote affiliates offers as well. You can create your video ad in various styles. Look for those websites that allow video ads on their sites and buy a space there and link your video ad with a tracking code to track your video traffic. You can create ads on YouTube, Vine, Vimeo, Dailymotion and others. Create short videos that will get approved easily with unique and fresh content and keywords. Four types of ads you can create with YouTube. In-stream ads generally come into sight just before you play a YouTube video. In-search ads display in the top positions of YouTube search results when keywords are searched. In-slate ads generally are utilized before videos that have long durations. In-display ads display on all Google Display Network websites. You can also buy Sidespace and Topspace to advertise your video ad. Social Media Marketing You can purchase space on social media to gain a big audience. You can target your customers on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Flickr, Instagram, Tumblr, and LinkedIn. But here you will have to be careful on what offers you are going to promote, especially with Facebook. Facebook has 1.39 billion global monthly active users. On Facebook, your ad placements are decided according to page location, pricing, list, and performance. These ads will appear in news feeds and in the right side column, and are based on a CPC and a CPM basis. You can choose ads per your requirement, such as a photo ad, video ad, link ad, text ad, page like ad, mobile app ad, Offer ad, event ad, and desktop app ad. It also provides you targeting options to get more potential customers. It assists you with data and insights so that you can track your campaign. Twitter gives you the power to share your ideas. You can run objective-based campaigns on Twitter. It helps you to grow your campaign, send your audience to your website, reach more people to improve your conversion, and generate leads. You can target your customers based on their interests, followers, and keywords. It also provides measurements and analytics to optimize your campaign.